guys, this is my review of my Shangsha Wind I got from 51 More Fun. I got this about two or three days ago, and I'm sorry I didn't make an unboxing because I didn't have the time, and I just can't leave a package for the next day and make a video because it's just not possible for me. Any package I see, I have to unbox it. So out of the box, this is super, super smooth, okay? The, the feel, everything of this is super smooth. I just can't get over how smooth it is, and I just can't believe how Shangshao can possibly make a cube this smooth. It's just, I don't know how it's possible, but it's just super smooth. Everything glides really well. And I'll show you guys the box. It comes in this red box. Shangshao cube. Uh, win Koei Competition Legal 3x3 the design which I'll show you guys later on made in China uh, not recommended for people children under age, age of 3 the whole Shengshao Shengshao Win Wind uh, description which doesn't make much sense Shengshao logo running as win lightsome and elegant hmm a bit weird okay so now it also comes with this pamphlet thing it's not going to be that helpful because the instructions won't make much sense but if you guys, most of you guys already know how to solve it anyway. Okay, so let's get to the turning. The turning of this cube is still the same as my first impression. It's super smooth. Everything is really nicely, I um, mean, nicely designed and everything. The feel is just really great. It just feels like plastic, really nice plastic rubbing along each other with like maru lube, like watery maru lube on it. If you can imagine that, this is how, this is just how this feels. It just feels so nice. I love the feel of this. And I just can't get over how smooth this is. I'm really give big ups for Changsha for designing such an awesome cube. And out of the box, it did have kind of fact, a bit of factory lube, but that's not much. I can't feel any anymore. I think it's the way the plastic is, is uh, made or something. That's what gives it that really smooth feel. And also the design, which I'll show you guys later on. And as for corner cutting goes, it doesn't really cut 45. Because the way this, this is designed is not that, not like a dying cube is. There's no dips or anything, so it doesn't give you that corner cutting, corner cutting bubbly kind of feel to it. It just feels really cubic, and what this cube wants you to do is it, it wants you to follow through with every turn you do. So it doesn't really want you to rely on corner cutting. If it, if you rely too much corner cutting, lockups can really occur. So this cube just wants you to follow through with your turning, and you probably, yeah, you'll you'll get less lockups for sure. So as for lockups go, this cube does lock up. I'm still not that um. I can't, I still rely on corner cutting for souls, kind of, not not as much, but I'm trying to reduce that down to it. I'm used to dying cube, which it all has that corner cutting bubbly feel to it, rounded bubbly feel to it, but this just doesn't have that feel, it's just really smooth and just wants, it's just too cubic for me. It doesn't have that round, kind of roundness feel to it. So I do, I do get lockups and souls at sometimes, because I'm still not used to the, the way this feels, but yeah, I bet... This is not really recommended for a like a advanced speed cuber. I really recommend this for like a like a medium intermediate. People will average about 30 40 seconds to get this because this is really going to help you with your accuracy on turning. And it's just going to improve your times. I bet it, it probably will improve your time of your intermediate kind of I I don't really rank people as intermediate or thing, but I just say it. But I probably no I just, yeah, probably about 30 to 40 seconds range. I'm not going to save your intermediate. Like, scratch that, forget about that part. It's just, I recommend people for actually just high, really high sub one, so about 40, 50, or 35, 40 second range. And, and for pieces, I'll stop the video now so you guys don't have to see me disassemble and assemble it because it, it, it is actually quite hard to assemble and dis reassemble it. Uh, actually, that brings me to the point of uh, popping. This cube does not pop at all, it's just pop resistant. It has no torpedoes, but the way this is designed, it's pop resistant. So I'll show you guys the pieces right now. So this is the design, you can see the pieces, the corner and edge, I'll, sh I'll show you guys that later on. But you can see the internals, it has these tracks, I think these tracks allowed for the really smooth turn. Because that, that's what it said on the description on the box, so I'm pretty sure this is how the smoothness comes in. It's where the smoothness comes in, the tracks. It's just really, really nicely done, and I just love it. So you can see the center cap, it's just like basic kind of square, kind of... Uh, it's nothing like a die-in center cap, it's just more just square and cubic shaped. And what this design really, uh, what do you, how do you call it, um, like, what this reflects, not reflects, like, 
What Cheng Xiao did to this was is basically a, basically a knockoff of a V Cube 3. But when I first saw it, it reminded me of the Gu Hong. But once I researched more, it does remind me of the V Cube 3, which I don't have, but I've seen pictures of. As you can see, the uh, design is like a Gu Hong, but V Cube 3 also has this kind of design. So I think this is like a knockoff of a V Cube 3 or whatever, vice versa. I don't want to start a con controversy, so we'll just keep off that topic. So you can, as you can see, it's really squarish. There's no dips or anything like a Dian cube does, but it does have the f function of like a Gu Hong, where this piece is just, it kind of has like a lip or kind of mouth kind of looking thing looking at you, and yeah, there's, there's holes there. Overall, I actually pla the plastic kind of feels really really smooth. So it probably has to do with the plastic and the tracks here, which allows for the smooth turning. And as for corner corner goes, it's like a V cube three as well. It's got no dips like the Gu Hongs or the Dian cubes. It's just straight cubic shape with a Gu Hong or Dian or V cube three kind of design to it, as you can see there. And for this, you can't take it apart. You, it doesn't come apart in threes or thirds or halves or whatever. Some comes in halves, but these don't. But most of them, most of the dying cubes come in thir threes. They split up in threes, but this does not. It's just one whole corner, one whole edge. And center cap, you see, you can just see there. It's a different kind of design. It's just, yeah, it's just like a bam into the design kind of. It's not. Like, it's not like a. T it does have tabs. When you put, let's find the tab. Yeah, you can see there. There's a tab for you to lift it off. So that's the internals, and I will get back to you on the. Conclusion and rec if I do recommend recommendations, should I do I recommend this? Yes, I recommend this. Even if you're a really advanced cuba, you can try it out. I, you can just see what I mean by the feel, the smooth feel of it. I recommend this to anyone, but mainly to people average about 30 or 40 or even 50 second range. This will really help you with the accuracy and probably get your times down if you have like a Rubik's or something, or like a cube for you. DIY or some ghost hand, but these this cube really will help you, I believe. And yeah, I be, I just recommend this to anyone. It's just a really good collecting item because the design is like a Dian and V Cube three, so might as well try it out for yourself. So I personally really like this cube. This will be in my top five because I just love the feel of this, and I do still get about my normal time 1718s on this cube. It's just. Not the kind of feel I'm looking for, but the turn, the feel, the, the turning is really nice. I really love that type of feel, but the, it doesn't have that dying kind of feel which I'm used to. So that wraps up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me if you would, you know, would want to get this cube, or if you would be interested, or if you have it. Tell me how you like it, and just leave any questions in the description, in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer them. And also, don't forget to rate and yeah, just subscribe if you haven't. So thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.